UK Prime Minister David Cameron appointed as Foreign Secretary in surprise cabinet reshuffle. In a surprise move, former British Prime Minister David Cameron was appointed as the Foreign Secretary on Monday, November 13, amidst cabinet reshuffle by Prime Minister Rishi Sunak. Cameron now replaces James Cleverly who was appointed the Interior Minister after the ouster of Suella Braverman following her controversial remarks where she accused the police of being lenient on recent pro-Palestine marches. Though no longer an elected politician, Cameron, after having stood down as an MP in 2016, will take a seat in the, the Upper House, House of Lords, to enable him to take up the post. He had to step down after he lost the Brexit referendum where he campaigned for Remain Camp that advocated for the UK to remain in European Union. Though he pretty much maintained a low profile since his exit, the Guardian news outlet reported that Cameron had told his friends in 2018 that he wanted to return to politics, preferably as foreign secretary. Under the UK constitution, a minister does not have to be a member of either House of Parliament, but in recent years, such ministers have been appointed to the House of Lords in order for them to be accountable to the Parliament. XPM lists out his priorities as Foreign Secretary. Following his appointment, Cameron put out a lengthy statement on social media platform X, where he talked about his office's priorities. We are facing a daunting set of international challenges, including the war in Ukraine and the crisis in the Middle East. At this time of profound global change, it has rarely been more important for this country to stand by our allies, strengthen our partnerships and make sure our voice is heard. Britain is a truly international country. Our people live all over the world and our businesses trade in every corner of the globe. Working to help ensure stability and security on the global stage is both essential and squarely in our national interest. International security is vital for our domestic security. Cameron also praised Sunak as a strong and capable prime minister, who is showing exemplary leadership. Though I may have disagreed with some individual decisions, it is clear to me that Rishi Sunak is a strong and capable Prime Minister, who is showing exemplary leadership at a difficult time.